Friends, welcome to this uh, final media conference for Lambeth 2008. Um, I'll hand over straight away to Archbishop Rowan, but uh, before I do, if I may just say thank you for your attention and interest during the Lambeth Conference and in helping convey to the wider world what's gone on here. And I'd ask you to understand that Archbishop Rowan, though he's presented his final presidential address just now, uh, his commitments are not yet finished. He's due down the hill in the cathedral uh, in a little while, so we need to conclude this conference by about five o'clock. Archbishop Rowan will say what he wants to say, and uh, then we'll hand over the questions. Archbishop Rowan. Thank you. Let me echo Archbishop Aspinall's thanks to all of you for your presence throughout and your presence this afternoon. I think that we have emerged at the end of this conference with some quite surprising results. A surprising level of sheer willingness to stay together, a surprising level of agreement about what might be necessary to make that happen. So that for all the fact that the details of the covenant proposals still need a good deal of clarification, nonetheless there is a following win for that. There's also a wide degree of agreement about the need for moratoria on both sides where divisive actions are concerned. And one thing that came up which was not planned and not really expected was again, a strong level of support for a more coherent and coordinated attempt to draw together the work of the communion around issues of justice and international development. So in all those ways, I think there is work to do. We've been trying today, and I've tried in my address, to identify some of the processes in the coming months that will take that forward. We've got a number of meetings coming up, a special meeting of the Joint Standing Committee of the Primates and the Consultative Council in November, I'm planning a primates meeting very early in the new year, and then there'll be the routine meeting of the Consultative Council in the early summer. Feeding into all of these will be continuing reflections from the various groups that have been looking at the issues the conference has been discussing, and they'll be looking at those again in the light of the very detailed responses and perspectives offered by the Indama groups, as represented in the uh, reflections document, which was formally presented to the conference and to myself this afternoon, and which we will be dedicating in prayer in the service in the cathedral very shortly. I think that in addition to all that and all the formal aspects of the work together, there's been a very, very widespread desire simply to go on building personal relations, even where people may not want to sign up to formal agreements. Nonetheless, they have felt that the exchanges they've had have been nourishing, valuable, and a phrase that has occurred in several contexts is we want the Indaba to continue. We want a process to continue in which there is space to do the sort of thing we have sought to do in this last couple of weeks. 